Welcome back to Veertech Gaming. If you've not heard already, we have some exciting news. We have teamed up with Tip for Serve to allow you to completely monetize your own game server. You can sell items, resources, kits, roles. This one is really exciting. Allowing your players to head over to the Tip for Serve store, make a purchase, and redeem it in Discord for that fully automized service. If you didn't check out the last video, we went through how to add items to your store, touched base with the tip for serve markers, and even how to sell bundled items. Be sure to check that out if you need to. I'll leave a link below in the description. Today we're going to cover the last item, Discord interactions. This one is a little more tip for serve specific, but covering it will allow us to help you make the most of your Veertech and tip for serve collaboration. So first thing we need to do is open the store editor tab and select the server setting. We've been here in a previous video, so be sure to go check that out if you already haven't. To get our Discord connected, we need to click the Add Your Discord or Game Server button, which is here. Name it whatever you like. We're going to keep it simple and name it Veertech Tutorial Discord. Like I said, keeping it simple. Now under Type, you will see that we have the option here for Discord. If we click that and then click Add, you'll see we have a prompt on how to set this up. Let's go through it. First, if we click the tip for serve bot text, we'll be given a prompt to select which Discord server we want to invite that to. I'm going to choose our tutorial server and continue, and you'll see now we have the tip for serve bot right here on our server. If we head back to the web page, we'll see the second action we need to take, which is drag tip for serve bot to the top of our role list. So let's head back into our Discord and do that. We need to click server settings and then roles, and you'll see at the bottom of the roles list we have the new tip for serve role. Now we need to drag that to the top of this list. To do that, simply click and hold these six dots to the left of your roll and drag it all the way up and then click Save Changes. The third thing we need to do is add the bot to the members list. We're not going to go too much into that as that's more of a Discord thing. Essentially, you just need to add in the permissions to which channels you want the bot to be able to communicate in. If you want to learn more on this, then you can click this blue More Info button here and there will be heaps of information on it. Finally, we need to link the bot. If we use the copy key button here, we can copy this to our clipboards. And note the command here at the very beginning is slash link. This is the command we need to use in Discord. So I will go ahead and copy my key, head on back into Discord, enter the command slash link, and ensure you click the tip for serve bot. It can be identified by the tip for serve logo right here. And now you will see that we have the option of this secret key. Click this and you will see a text box appear for our key we copied a moment ago. Simply paste that here, hit enter, and you will see that your Discord has been successfully linked to the store. Now, for the good part. If we head back to the Tip for Serve webpage and open the products page, click create product or subscription, we're going to add another VIP just for demonstration purposes. So as before, I'm going to name it VIP. Price, I'm just gonna throw in $1 in there, obviously turn subscription on as VIP is a subscription. Now, if we scroll down to choose a server, select our game server, but before we go ahead and set this up, if you click choose a server again, you will see that we have the option for our Discord. Now, if we go ahead and click that, you will see that tip for serve allows us to have this product carry out actions on both Discord and the game server at the same time. First option we have is to give roles, so we can give roles along with our purchases. For those of you that don't want to utilize our sync role feature, you can create it so that when this product is purchased, we can give roles when we sell VIP. And as before, if you look a little further down, you'll see that we have options for when it's expired, we can also remove that role automatically. So if I click the first drop down, select VIP, this makes it give the role. Do the same on the expiry column and we can remove that role, but that's not all. We can see here that we have the option to send a message with the purchase. Default will select private message, but by clicking this drop down, we can make it also send a message in any channel. I'm gonna leave it as private message. As you can see by the default text here, you can see how the message markers mention Discord ID, so this will individually mention the player. We can also at roles, include what they paid, the currency they paid in, and even the time and date. This one really is so customizable. Be sure to check out Tip for Serve's documentation for more on the markers so you can make the message as personal or as broad as you wish. I'm gonna leave all this as default for now. Scroll down and enter your game server commands as normal. Scroll up, submit your product, and you're good to go. Just so you know, this isn't limited to just descriptions. Anything you sell in Tip for Serve can be used on the Discord integration. And there you have it. Yet another amazing feature in the Veertech and Tip for Serve integration to help make your gaming experience as personal as you'd like. If you head into our Discord, discord.gg/veertech, 
We currently have a poll out for what you want us to cover on our next coming videos. Be sure to head in there and cast your vote. Until then, happy grubbing.